This is Sarge. This is Rob. Rob provides Sarge with food, water, and proper health care, thus increasing Sarge's fitness. Rob suffers a cost while doing this as he expends time, energy, and resources, suffering a fitness loss. The act of benefiting another while suffering a cost is known as altruism. Altruism is one of the four basic animal behaviors modeled by Hamilton. Hamilton's model has a donor, the individual who performs an action, and a recipient, the individual who receives the action. In each case, the individuals can receive either a fitness benefit or a fitness cost. If both the donor and the recipient receive a benefit, this is known as a mutually beneficial interaction. If the donor receives a benefit at the cost of the recipient, then this is selfishness. If the donor suffers a cost and the recipient gets a benefit, this is altruism. And if the donor suffers a cost and inflicts a cost on the recipient, it is known as spite. Hamilton's model only outlines one-way interaction and does not consider the actions of the recipient. This is where we introduce Patrick Forber and his lecture on the evolution of cooperation. Patrick discusses the use of game theory to create models of two-way species interaction. This graph here shows the different types of games modeled and will be fully explained beginning with cooperation games. The example Forber uses is the stag hunt. Like every game, our stag hunt will have two participants, Rob and Sarge. In each scenario, our participants can either work together and cooperate or act selfishly and defect. So Rob and Sarge enjoy hunting. They can both cooperate and hunt a deer. With Sarge tracking and Rob hunting, they can split the reward and each gain a fitness benefit of three. Or they can each act selfishly and go to the nearby pond to hunt waterfowl alone, each receiving a fitness benefit of one. There is also a situation where Rob can attempt to cooperate, but Sarge can decide to act selfishly. Rob receives no fitness benefit and Sarge receives a benefit of two because his competitor, Rob, is no longer there so Sarge can get more waterfowl. Clearly, cooperation is always the best option, however, in a population where some individuals decide to be selfish, then it becomes more beneficial to also act selfishly. This creates a population with an unstable center that leads to cooperation if altruists know to mate with one another, but it can lead to selfishness if enough individuals fail to cooperate. The fitness values are arbitrary numbers that when converted to letters A, B, C, and D can be applied to our graph and determine what type of game a situation represents. For example, in our stag hunt, our value values for Rob are as follows. A minus B is 1 and C minus D is negative 1, resulting in a cooperation game. So when you have A minus B is positive 1 and C minus D is positive 1, so cooperation and selfishness can both thrive, you have a game of delight. When you have A minus B is negative 1 and C minus D is positive 1, this creates a game of conflict because only selfishness can thrive. When you have A minus B is negative 1 and C minus D is also negative 1, this is a game of dilemma because there is no situation that can thrive. I hope this video was helpful, and if you wish to learn more about animal behavior and evolution, check out Patrick Forber's lecture on the EVOS Seminar Series YouTube page. Thank you.